the most watched debut film on Apple TV Plus. Anna de Armas, Chris Evans. What could possibly go wrong in a movie like this? Well, apparently a lot. Although Ghosted isn't horrible, it's ultimately a bland, half rom com, half action movie that I wish I would have ghosted. Now, spoilers ahead if you haven't watched it. I think the plot's pretty predictable, so I mean, you're not gonna have a ton ruined for you. But if you, if you want to be surprised by certain cameos or something like that, go ahead and click away, and then come back after you've watched it. By the way, before we get into the plot stuff, I just want to let you know I will be referring to both Chris and Anna's characters as just Chris and Anna. It's just, it's just a lot easier for me. I don't even really remember their names in the film. We're just gonna go with Chris and Anna. Anyway. Ghosted begins with Anna's character trying to buy a plant for her home where she meets Chris. They argue about what plant she should pick, kind of flirty, and then just spirals into complete like yelling at one another. And then that leads to him asking her out. They have an absolutely magical first day. They hang out together. And then a couple days and 17 unanswered text messages later, Chris is still obsessed with this girl and realizes that he left his inhaler with her, which happens to have a tracking device in it. I did not know until researching for this review that inhalers had tracking devices in them, or they could. I thought that was something thrown into the movie to make the plot happen, but apparently that's a real thing. So I guess I got something out of this film. (laughs) Anyway, the tracker says the inhaler is in London. So Chris is off to go surprise someone he has only known for 24 hours in a country he's never been to. What could possibly go wrong? Well, a lot. Chris gets abducted by bad guys and is believed to be the tax man, a CIA agent who has the passcode to activate a bioweapon called Aztec. Right before he's tortured by the baddies, by a murder hornet nonetheless, Anna swoops in and saves the day and it's revealed that she's a CIA agent. Long action sequence short, they escape and Anna reveals that she is actually the tax man, the person the baddies are looking for. They get into a brief argument, a little fight, and then they meet up with one of her exes in Pakistan to get Chris back to the States. But after a brief cameo sequence, which was one of the best parts of the film, the ex is killed and Chris and Anna are back on the run. They get into another argument. Then they have the idea for Anna to pretend to be a bounty hunter to turn Chris into the bad guys so they can get close to Aztec. This plan works and they get on a plane with the baddies, and then get Aztec, have a long action sequence in the plane, and then jump out with Aztec. Chris and Anna get stranded on an island, make out, and then are ambushed by baddies. Lucky for them, though, Anna called in the CIA to come rescue them. But, unfortunately, the baddies get Aztec back. Oh no. Chris and Anna yet again get into a big fight, and then the CIA sends Chris to give the password to the baddies to trick the baddies out of hiding so that they can arrest them. Chris meets up with the baddies, but his backup is killed in their stakeout truck because the baddies found out what their actual plan was. So he's left by himself. But yet again, Anna shows up to save the day and they kill the baddies, get Aztec, make out, and Ryan Reynolds shows up for some reason. Then they live happily ever after or something. I don't know, there'll probably be a sequel, so not happily ever after, but it's the end of the movie. Look, Ghosted is a really fun concept and idea, and definitely has the star power to make it work, but just falls well short of its potential. Very bad dialogue and a generic predictable plot really hold this film back. At no moment was I caught off guard or really intrigued by anything going on. The villains are very generic, very we're bad because of money or some reason there's never really any stakes we don't really ever fear Aztec it's not really explained I think all they said was that it was a bioweapon the only thing that wasn't predictable within the story were the cameos which just happened to be the best parts of the film Ryan Reynolds showing up at the end was so unexpected and yet so amazing I mean it's Ryan Reynolds how could it not be Dude's in the film for less than 30 seconds and just stole the whole thing. And also the sequence of bounty hunters killing one another was also one of the highlights of the film. But when a movie's best and most memorable parts are the cameos, you you have a problem. 
Ana de Armas and Chris Evans' chemistry is fantastic throughout the film, which I'm really happy about because the film heavily markets them. They are the main selling point. They are the main reason you would watch this movie. And it's the reason I watched the movie, as I sure if you've seen the movie, that's the reason you clicked on it. Look, their chemistry is good and all, but it's just, it's not enough to carry this film. It's not. One thing that was super unbelievable throughout the film was that Chris Evans is just this helpless guy who doesn't know what's going on and just like is afraid of guns and fights and, you know, all this stuff. Like, you just don't buy that for a second. I thought at the end it was going to be revealed that he was the secret agent as well. Um, just deep undercover or something like that. It just, you never bought it for a second. And maybe it's because of his past roles that I was just like, I can't buy this. But I never, I never thought for a second that he was that dude. <laughs> one of the things, one of the things I really did enjoy at the beginning of the film was that it felt just like a rom-com. Like, I was watching with my girlfriend and she's like, what is this movie? This is this is not what I thought it was going to be about. And then, you know, after that 30 minutes, it switches into this action spy thriller. I say thriller, action spy movie. <laughs> um, and it just, it, it completely flips the switch, which I think it did a really good job of. Throughout the film, I kept thinking that all the budget was spent on these actors and these cameos because some of the sets were just seemed really cheap and felt almost like they were out of like a Disney Channel show. I mean, the whole set where Chris is getting tortured and all the bugs are there, like I felt like that was something I could set up in a basement. It just looked really cheap and it kind of took me out of it. Like at, at no second did I not think that that was a set. Overall, Ghosted is a really cool idea, yet it doesn't really deliver anything special. It's nothing new it's nothing groundbreaking and to be honest it just feels like another one of those streaming movies that they just put out so that you'll keep your subscription but that's about it for me let me know down in the comment section below what y'all thought about ghosted was it good was it not what you think of the ryan reynolds cameo just type it all down in the comment section below but as always i love you all so so much i hope you have an absolutely incredible day and until next time peace out bro skillets